dudes, it's Demi, and today I am at the Holiday Inn and Suites across from Universal Orlando. This place is a hidden gem. Not only is it a little bit cheaper to stay here, you can use your IHG rewards here. You're right across from Universal Orlando, and on top of it, you have a partnership program here with Universal and SeaWorld. So there's a lot of benefits to staying here. We're gonna tour the hotel, we're gonna see the room, and we're gonna walk to Universal to see just how long it takes to get there. So let's do it. Let's get into some hijinks. Before we even go inside, I wanna show you a really cool benefit of staying here, right literally attached to the hotel, is a Friday's. So if you wanna just come back here and maybe grab a bite at Friday's and then just walk right over to your hotel, you can do that. You don't have to eat at City Walk if you like Fridays. All right, let's go inside. Okay, it's very quiet in here, so I'm gonna talk quiet. So when you first enter to the left, you have a little store, which we'll go and check out. Uh, we have a lot of seating, lots and lots of seating here. And then this is where you would check in and check out. Back over here is where you do some extra vacation planning. You can get your lanyards here. And then the corner is where if you rented a car from budget, which I actually did. Uh, you're gonna go pick up your car right here. I think that's super cool that you can pick up your car at this hotel. This is also where you're gonna come to sign up for shuttle service. There is shuttle service to Universal Orlando and to SeaWorld and to SeaWorld Aquatica, which is the water park. Um, you don't need to put your name down for coming home, but you do need to sign up going toward the park. Over in the little convenience store, you have a lot of, lot of like, merchandise disney and universal in here but plus that you have a little coffee stand a little bit of snackies that you can grab and go with you have some cereal uh, which is great like for kids in the morning soda water powerade all the snacks you could want there's even some frozen meals that's pretty cool i've never seen that at a hotel before over in the back corner you have all your pharmaceutical needs your advil your deodorant your toothbrush uh, feminine products dryer sheets everything you would need there's also a big rack of wires and plugs for your phone if you lost or forgot that and i guess you can get bags and jewelry here as well from the entryway to the right is the arcade. Oh, and how cool, you actually have your own entrance to Friday's, the restaurant, from the hotel. Amazing. This is actually a really nice game room. There's an air hockey machine, you have a Pac-Man machine, driving, Halo, whatever, motorcycle ride, <gasps> Jurassic Park, Batman, motorcycle, shooter games, claw games. Very cool little, uh, arcade here. For the arcade you would have to purchase a play card and it looks like it's cash only. Over by Vacation Planner we're gonna walk to the left and this is where your elevators to your room go. Then if you keep walking this way we're gonna find the fitness center and laundry. So let's find it. Down the hall and on the right is the laundry and just like a regular laundry in here they have a machine to get uh, dryer sheets and detergent. After the laundry is a fitness center, so let's check it out. Pretty small, it has one elliptical, it has three treadmills, it has a stepper, it has one bike, and then over here you have a BOSU ball, and you know, to weigh yourself so you can feel real good about eating all the things you're eating on vacation. Hello. And they do have one single use bathroom in here. Back by the elevators is this back door, and this is the way to the pool. We have some patio seasoning over here. This is the designated smoking area. Here is the pool. You have some lounge seating, some table seating. It's a decent sized pool. And then to the right of that is a one foot four inch pool. That's like a splash zone pool. Definitely great for kids. There's additional seating over here as well. This pool starts at three feet, six inches and goes all the way up to eight feet, six inches. After the pool, there are these double doors to get back inside as well. And I'm gonna show you some weird thing that's in this hotel. I think that this place has like a lot of performers and a lot of other things that happen here because you have a studio room. And maybe they do like rehearsals here for Universal shows, director's room, producer's room. I mean, they're just conference rooms, but I don't know their rehearsal rooms. I don't know so if anybody maybe wants to <laughs> rehearse here for anything. You can, maybe, I have no idea. Okay, let's head upstairs and see the room. I am actually on the top floor, the 10th floor. 
For the 10th floor, when you get off the elevator to the left, you have vending. So here's where you can get some sodas, just sodas. There was that vending machine downstairs by the fitness center for a little snackies. And they have a microwave here, which is great because spoiler alert, there is no microwave in this room. Now we're gonna walk to the right. This way will be your ice machine. I am this way as well. I am room 1016. See, look, actor's room. I wanna know what happens here. This is so weird. All the way on the very end is your ice machine because did you really stay at a hotel if you didn't get ice? All right, here's my room, 1016. Let's take a peek. So I've been inside already. I put on all the lights. It's a lot of great natural light in here and there are a lot of lamps, which is really good. When you first walk in on the right is your very little closet. I would say that is like the biggest like uh, thing about this room because you can have up to four people. Um, you also have your iron and ironing board, your safe. There's extra cubby space and there's this cabinet space as well. And that's where the hair dryer is. It's a very small hair dryer, so. Um, you might need to bring your own if you're that kind of a person like me. But yeah, this is a pretty small closet. The closet is ba basically the width of me, so. <laughs> Here's the bathroom. It's a pretty small bathroom, but it does the job. One sink, it comes with your holiday and shampoo, conditioner, lotion, bar soap, fully stocked with towels and toilet paper. You can always ask for more obviously a toilet, some tissues, and this is just a pretty standard tub. I'm gonna go into widescreen. Nothing too exciting, but you know, like I said, gets the job done. The room does have a full length mirror. Underneath is a bench. You can probably put your suitcase on it. You have a desk and a chair, and it's actually on wheels, so this can be moved to wherever you wanna move it. Here is the shuttle schedule for Universal. Uh, so it's gonna stop at two other hotels, uh, but so again, if you're going toward the park, you have to go back to that planning desk downstairs and sign up, but coming home, you do not have to do that. You just go to the bus stop. Um, however, so they kinda end pretty early, so that's why I'm really curious to see how long it takes to walk there because I don't want to leave at 8 p.m. The park is open till 9 and then City Walk. And then there are a couple, only a couple shuttles to uh, SeaWorld, but I mean, it's here and I think that's a pretty, pretty cool perk. Got a big standard TV. Over here you have your mini fridge and you know, standard, standard mini fridge. Three like regular size drawers all the same size. Above that is your ice bucket and it comes with some Keurig coffee. They have little bags of condiments. I'm gonna open it to see if there's some type of milk product in here. So yes, it comes with sugar, sweet and low, and a non-dairy creamer and a stir. This is a double room. These are not queen beds, these are double beds. I always like getting double beds, even when I'm traveling solo, because uh, you can lay all your stuff on one and not constantly bend over or, you know, have to hang everything up. You just lay everything out and then you can lay on the other bed. One time my friend was like, Demi, just throw your stuff on the floor like everybody else does at a hotel. And I'm like, one, why are you throwing your stuff on the floor? And two, that means I would have to keep bending over and my back hurts. I don't got time for that. You have a lamp and you have a night dresser with two pretty big drawers. Like these are pretty deep drawers. You have your alarm clock, a radio alarm clock, and your telephone. You have a nice little chair in the corner. And then here is the view from my room. You can see the entrance to Universal. And then if you, let's see if I can capture it, ow. If you look to the right, there's Rip Ride Rocket. There it is. But this room has a great view of the pool. This also has the option to be adjoining rooms. So there are two temperature controls in this room. This one, when I came in, was at 66. And then, that was loud, sorry. The one on the wall over here was at 72. So I'm not really sure which one is the one that controls it. So I just left that one at 66 and I moved this to 70. And now, certainly is a bed. It seems pretty comfortable. The pillows are nice and fluffy. I will check back with you in the morning to see how I liked it. And now it's time for my new segment, which I like to call the outlet sitch. Let's check out all the outlets in the room.
First off, in the bathroom, you have two regular outlets. On the nightstand, you only have one regular outlet and two USB ports. Nothing on the sides of the bed. By the Keurig, we have three regular outlets, two USB ports. And by the desk, we have three regular outlets and two USB ports again. And finally, two by the door. In total, this room had 11 regular outlets and six USB ports. In my opinion, I think that this room definitely gets the Hijinx outlet seal of approval. So that was the hotel. Now we're going to walk to Universal to see just how long it takes. Okay, so we're gonna go to the right of the planning desk. We're gonna go through these weird rooms again and cross the pool. The timer is set. Here we go. The person at the planning desk told me a little uh, trick. So we're gonna go to the end here. We're gonna go cross Major Boulevard. You see the Universal sign. And then we're gonna go through Valet. The walk took about 19 minutes, but what's really cool is that you end up right, literally by City Walk. You miss the entire walkway from the garage. So that's pretty cool. Definitely like, you know, if you don't feel like walking, don't walk. But that's also, there was also time I had to wait for traffic to go by because there was a really main roads. I mean, personally, like if it's a hot day, you know, uh, you don't have to walk. But like if you want to get to where you want to go fast, it's always faster to walk around here. So not bad, 19 minutes. Good morning. I had a great night's sleep. I thought the bed was super comfortable. The pillows were nice and swishy. Definitely one of the more comfortable hotel beds I've slept on in a while. I was very surprised. I think overall this was a really cute, nice stay. It's a super basic hotel, but you know, I was in the parks all day, so all I did was, you know, come to sleep here. But even if I wanted to like come back and hang out at the pool, I thought the pool was super nice. Yeah, it's just a basic holiday inn, but you know what? It does the job, it's a little bit cheaper, and you cannot beat the location. That's my opinion. I, I recommend this place definitely. Um, but let me know in the comments if you would stay here. Uh, let me know if you think that it's like definitely like you think maybe better than doing a universal resort or it's you know like a better option than staying off property but you know further out or maybe you like to stay further out and even cheaper off property let me know how you like to vacation in the comments below thank you guys so much for watching if you did like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel and follow me on instagram at magical hijinks and until next time my dudes hope you guys get into some hijinks very very soon Hubba bye